Recently I was working on the RC system, based on ESP microcontrollers. ESP32 and ESP8266 have Wi-Fi modules. In a special mode named ESP Now, they can send small packets without establishing normal Wi-Fi connection. His mode is used to implement RC system. The sources for a RC library can be found in the video description. In order to test the library, I need a plane which is controlled in manual mode. So I decided to do simple chuck glider conversion, using brushed motors from Ishii E58 quadcopter. They are chip, efficient, and can provide up to 70 grams of trust. Two motors should provide enough trust for tiny plane. Also brushed ESC are easy to build. Brushed motors are known to have short life. But in my test I let running one motors for 5 hours on 90% throttle, and it still worked. I ended experiment just because I got bored. 5 hours are enough for 30 flights, and that is what I expect from this plane. In any case, broken motor can be easily replaced. The key factor to keep brushed motor healthy is to keep it away from dust, and never give throttle when motor is blocked. You always have to cut throttle before the crash, otherwise gears will be damaged. You can found full instructions how to flash ESP8266 and how to make transmitter module on the GitHub page. With a first prototype, I went for the maiden flight. Plane was designed to be so compact that it can fit into small box. Unfortunately there was a high wind which make very hard to fly small models like this. Another problem was that I have very little experience flying in manual mode. But after a little bit of trimming, plane finally start to fly well. The only problem was, the wing. When model is turning, it loses a lot of lift. It is easy to fly against the wind, but very hard to keep altitude while turning. Plane felt overloaded with a lithium ion battery, so I decided to try it with a smaller LiPo battery.
This time it flied very well. With the wind calmed down, I really enjoyed controlling the plane. With a 900 mAh battery, I am able to flight for a 10 minutes. ESP Now RC system proved to work reliably. I did not have any fail-safe event during the flight, and never crashed due to RC system glitch. As prototype proven to work fine, I made a final version of the plane. The Scotch type added 7 grams to the weight which made flying with lithium-ion battery even more hard. Overall, I can tell that idea to fly on lithium-ion battery did not work. I can consume maximum 1000 mAh before voltage drops to the level when motors cannot provide enough trust. As I can consume only third part of capacity only, lithium-ion does not provide any benefits compared to small than lighter LiPo. Apart from that, I think this build was successful. Plane design proven to be very stable. I discovered that it is flying better if I just let it fly. It even can recover from stall automatically. And the main goal, to test ESP Now RC system, was completed. This RC system can be successfully used for the line of sight manual flights. Also remember that we have full featured microcontroller on the plane. It can be used to implement additional features. For example, to implement beeping with the motors, which help searching model in the high grass.